prison reform. You've been on the inside. Can you give us one or two good ideas or suggestions on how this prison sit? And I know it's much greater than this, but you are living proof that it can be done. Yeah. yeah. But I, I'm also aware that we, we're living in a world with a very broken system. Are there some key things that the state could do if yes. they heard this interview to help reform the prison system as we know it so that we can see more people with Fs on their record, that felon, like yourself, come out and reintegrate into society in a better, more positive way? Oh, without a doubt. I think that um, I sit in on a lot of these um, meetings right now. I'm involved with a lot of things surrounding um, reform and reentry here in Milwaukee and here in the state of Wisconsin because I have been able to see some sort of success after you know doing that time in prison. But one thing that I always leave with once again is people talk about they talk about um, what we're gonna do. Um, as far as helping and assisting people coming home. They talk about, they talk about transportation. They talk about housing. They talk about jobs. And I say, time out, time out. Let's change, once again, the mindset first. Those are secondary issues. Yes, we need housing. Yes, we need jobs. Yes, we need transportation. But first and foremost, we need the mindset to shift. If you don't shift the mindset, you can give somebody a home, a car, and a hundred dollar an hour job. It will be opportunity and resources wasted because we didn't spend any time getting the mindset to shift. People win the lottery all the time, but guess what happens? Some of them end up broke because they got rich financially, but they were still broke mentally. So if you're broke mentally, I can give you access every rich and everything in this world, you can't do anything with it with that mindset. So let's not focus so much at this point. And I, I, I make my point to even tell people coming home, say, bro, only people that can't walk need crutches. If you can walk, you don't need crutches. So let's just get you to the point where you don't need nobody. So, so, so let's work on how you think. Let's work on how you see things. And let's work on you understanding that challenges is only there to see how bad you want it. So once we start looking at things that way, we can really attack them. Last question for you. And I love that answer because it's always about the mindset and it might be the, the same exact answer to what I'm about to ask you now. We just talked about people coming home. What can we do as a society for our children and for our kids who are in these underserved, under financially resourced communities to help them before they ever get caught up in the system and find themselves in a situation that you found yourself in 20 something odd years ago? Um, definitely. Um educate like man i can go on about this one but the education system the the economic system these systems are failing people of color astronomically um i tell I, i'll tell somebody last night i said listen man the day that president obama won the election do you know how you felt that night when you seen him win election i was sitting in prison i had tears in my eyes i felt so proud I felt great that night. It was, it was a feeling like I can't compare it to anything else. And I said, that's what people that are not of color feel every day in our education system, in our economic system. They feel that feeling every day. That's called patriotism. They can feel that one feeling, that one night that we had. We felt that for one night. And we have to start to change the system that makes us feel that way every day of our life as well. Because once we can do that, you'll see decisions, you'll see better choices, 
you see people holding their heads up. You see people feeling more of a part of this thing. And right now, people don't feel like that. So many people walking with their heads down. So people not even interested in feeling better because they don't feel like it's no better. And the decisions and the choices is gonna be based, based upon that view of yourself. So once we can raise up, the, the, the greatest thing in the world that you can give a person is confidence, a belief in themselves. A confident person, I know people that's confident and got a belief. They can't read good, they can't write good, they ain't the best looking, they ain't the most talented, but guess what? They got supreme confidence and they get stuff done. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.